Unsurprisingly, it has sparked outrage within the XRP community. Forbes has unexplainably taken down an article by senior Forbes contributor on tech policy, Dr. Roslyn Layton, which critiques the perceived unfair treatment of blockchain payments firm Ripple by the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. Welcome to XRP Insider, we provide the latest news of XRP Ripple. To stay updated with exciting news please do like share and subscribe to our channel. To know more please watch till the end. The article titled Why the SEC Treats Ripple and Ethereum Differently is now blocked by a pop-up of an editor note that reads, this page is no longer active. However, thanks to screenshots shared by members of the XRP community who disclosed that the article is still viewable in reader mode on selected browsers, the Crypto Basic was able to peruse its content. In the article, Dr. Layton raises questions about why the SEC gives Ethereum a free pass through the controversial 2018 Bill Hinman speech, which the regulator claims to be sufficient guidance for the emerging industry but chooses to treat Ripple and XRP differently. The policy researcher who describes this as a potential inconsistency in regulations expresses that the rub could lie in the hotly contested Hinman documents. The Hinman documents refer to emails and other materials related to the drafting of the controversial speech. Notably, at one point, the speech became the focus of the SEC case against Ripple, with the agency initially resisting Ripple's efforts to access the documents. While the SEC finally handed over the documents to Ripple last October after previously resisting six court orders to do so, the agency is now seeking to keep the documents sealed per omnibus motions filed last December. It again argued that these deliberations are subject to attorney-client privilege, adding that leaving them open to public scrutiny could negatively impact the ability of agency officials to deliberate policy in the future. Notably, Dr. Layton, in her article, expressed the view that the SEC's argument is a tough sell considering that it says it serves as guidance for the nascent market. She argues that these documents could clarify if the free pass given to Ethereum were motivated by Hinman's alleged conflict of interest or if there is confusion among regulators that could justify confusion among industry participants and Ripple's fair notice defense. Consequently, as reported today, she has filed a motion requesting that the court unseal the documents. Unsurprisingly, XRP community members have expressed outrage that Forbes appears to have taken down the article. Attorney John Deaton, whose firm had quoted the article reporting the Forbes contributor's filing, expressed shock, writing, WTH. Meanwhile, Forbes has previously taken down an article by the tech policy contributor. However, it is worth noting that the author wanted to edit the piece in the previous instance. At press time, Dr. Layton and Forbes are yet to respond to requests for comment. However, the Crypto Basic will update this report if it gets feedback. All eyes are on regulators in the United States at the moment as their war on crypto ramps up. The outcome of the Ripple case with the Securities and Exchange Commission could have a major impact on the future of the agency's enforcement regime. The SEC has been on the warpath this year, with crypto companies being its primary target. Furthermore, the regulator has exceeded its jurisdiction by classifying staking and stablecoins as securities. The ongoing court case with Ripple, which it also accused of selling unregistered securities, could have a major impact on the U.S. regulatory landscape. According to a February 15 San Francisco Examiner article, the legal showdown has become a nerve-wracking waiting game for much of the crypto industry. The SEC sued Ripple in December 2020. It accused the fintech firm of failing to register around $1.4 billion worth of its XRP cryptocurrency as securities. Ripple maintains that the cross-border payment coin is not a security, arguing that it does not satisfy the requirements of the Howey test. If the company wins the case, which CEO Brad Garlinghouse expects to conclude by summer, it could change the way the SEC regulates by enforcement. Analyst Rebecca Wetman told the outlet. The ripple outcome will set the direction and tone for how the U.S. regulates crypto moving forward. Fintech analyst with more insights and strategy, Melody Brew, echoed a common complaint that there is no clarity or guidance from the SEC. Gensler is making up rules as he goes in regards to crypto. That's why, one of the more significant things that will come out of the ripple decision will be precedent. Furthermore, Ripple's chief legal officer, Stuart Alderity, called the SEC chair a political liability earlier this week. Many crypto industry executives and experts have echoed similar sentiments. 
However, a loss for Ripple could send shockwaves across the US crypto industry. A victorious SEC would probably attack every other digital asset the same way. This would drive investment and innovation overseas and put investors at risk, which is exactly what regulators are trying to prevent. Last year, Brad Garlinghouse said that he would leave the US if Ripple loses the case. Gary Gensler's agency has not relented in pursuing crypto companies. On February 15, CNBC reported that the SEC had proposed rules that would change which crypto firms can be custodians of customer assets. The proposed changes to federal law would mandate custodians, including crypto exchanges, secure or maintain certain federal or state registrations. Additionally, this makes it even more difficult to secure regulatory approval for crypto products, further quashing the industry. Although all documents have already been submitted in the legal battle between Ripple Labs and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, and all eyes are now on Judge Annalisa Torres' decision, there has been a new motion with a potential massive impact. Forbes journalist Dr. Rosalind Layton has filed a motion to intervene, seeking access to the Hinman speech documents from the court. The journalist is represented by attorney J. Carl Ciceri in an effort to prevent the SEC's December 22 motion to seal some of the Hinman speech documents. Dr. Layton, a regulatory policy columnist, visiting researcher at Allboard University and executive vice president of Strand Consulting has no financial interest in Ripple or XRP, nor does she have any financial interest in the case, according to the motion. However, she has written numerous articles on Forbes about the Hinman speech documents. In those articles, she has examined the central role the Hinman documents play for the crypto industry and justify the petition, according to the letter. Layton and her attorney argue that both the First Amendment and federal common law give the press a fundamental right to access these judicial documents. One particular argument in favor of releasing the documents is that the SEC has conceded their importance. According to Layton, extraordinarily much is at stake, not just for Ripple, its execs and the thousands of XRP holders, but the entire crypto industry. This case is also poised to determine the future of cryptocurrencies in this country, serving as a legal referendum on the SEC's entire system of regulation by enforcement for the industry. According to the Forbes senior contributor, a lack of explicit regulatory guidance from the SEC has resulted in the Hinman documents taking on immense importance for public scrutiny. And the supposed guidance Hinman offered in that speech has proven opaque. While Ethereum, ETH, has been declared outside the SEC's jurisdiction, Ripple is facing a billion-dollar fine. That inconsistency has given rise to grave concerns about potential conflicts of interest, because Hinman had a financial stake in promoting Ethereum to the exclusion of competing coins like XRP. According to the Ripple supporter's letter, documents from Hinman's speech will reveal whether Ethereum advocates within the SEC had inappropriate influence in shaping Hinman's message, or whether agency insiders thought the guidance provided in the speech was unclear or deviated too much from established expectations. And such access is likewise essential in helping the public evaluate whether the SEC's entire regulation by enforcement approach to cryptocurrencies makes sense, whether its pursuit of Ripple is a legitimate use of public tax dollars, and whether the lines the SEC has drawn actually work, Leighton claims. Remarkably, in Davos, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse commented on the documents related to the speech as follows. When those come to light, I think you'll see more how it is possible that the SEC decided to bring a case against Ripple, given what they were saying within their own walls. When Judge Torres will rule on the motion remains to be seen. At the time of writing, XRP was trading at $0.4019, showing an increase of 5.3% in the last 24 hours, in line with the bullish sentiment in the crypto market. We would like to make it clear that this is not a platform designed expressly to offer financial advice, and we are not requesting that you invest in any particular business. This is just a route used to deliver instructional material to your door. See you again soon on XRP Insider, the leading source for cryptocurrency news.